So in the last couple of videos, you made this screen here. We can see posts from our friends. And again, this is a social media app. So friends and family can post. Think of it like Facebook or Twitter, but it doesn't look quite right. The buttons are humongous and the text isn't quite right. So in this video, I want to use card view. So let's go ahead and do that. So each, each cell or each row will have its own card around it, around it kind of like, I think Facebook kind of does that on Android, I think at least, maybe on iOS also. But yeah, so we're gonna use card view. So let's just go ahead and just, sh I'll show you what it's like. So we have a post row open up here and you can open it up inside resources, layout and row post and post row. But the first thing I wanna do is actually use card view. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do, uh, let's do card view, we'll do, I will do, just to show you, I'll do a 200 DP, 200 DP. Then we'll do text view, wrap, wrap, text, ASD, ASDF. And this might show you what a card is like. Actually, actually it's not going to work. I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. I was going to try to show you what it was like, but we'll just not do that. Okay, so we have our card view there, and we need to close it. So all of this content here is going to go inside of our card view. So if you'll notice... If I can reformat my code, you'll notice that we have uh, our root element is a constraint layout. Then inside of there, we have a card view. And then inside of there is all of our actual content. So the card view handles all of that right there. And all it's going to handle, it's, inside of it's going to be all of the content. So now it's complaining about positioning. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just do, because we're in constraint layout, because constraint layout is our parent, we have access to some cool stuff. We'll do left to left of parents. Um, we'll do right to right of parents, and then we'll do top to top of parents, we'll do bottom to bottom of parents. And I don't think this will actually give us the drop shadow quite yet. Let's give it some margin. So margin, we'll do 16 dp, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. And let's just run it just to see what it looks like. We're not finished, and this could be all messed up. But you can kind of see the basics there. There's a card. Each one has its own card. Like you can see like the drop shadow around it. That's kind of cool. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's do instead of instead of width uh, 200, let's do 0 dp, uh, 0 dp. And the reason we can do that is because we have left to left of and right to right of, and that automatically makes it scale. So it's the equivalent of going into design and selecting the card view and going like, and just toggling that right there. But I'm, in this video, I'm using the text view. Okay, so, oh, and the height needs to be wrap content. So wrap. And let's just run it and see what this looks like. I might have messed some stuff up. Okay, well, the reason it's messed up is because we have a card view here. So we have our card view, and inside of there, we have all of our elements. But all of these elements right here expect to be in a constraint layout parent. So let's do this. Let's do uh, let's do constraint layout. We'll do match and then wrap, and we'll just get rid of all of that. Oops. And we'll get rid of that. And inside of right before the closing card view, we'll do. There we go. So now this adds all of our content inside of there. I'm going to run it and let's see what it looks like. And yeah, this is looking pretty good. I kind of like that. It's actually coming together. So one thing I want to do is let's get rid of so much margin. Let's do HDP on our card view. Um, that gets rid of some of that. And let's run it and just see what it looks like again. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Now it's a little bit smaller. We have our card views, but now let's work on something else. So those buttons are, those are huge buttons. Let's not get, let's get rid of those. So this button, let's change these buttons to a text view. Change that to a text view. We'll change text view. We'll change that to text view. And we'll change text view. We'll change that to a text view. So I'm gonna save it and run it. And let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. It needs a little bit of padding on the bottom, so we can add it to our card view. So if we do, if we do on the card view, if we do padding bottom, we'll do eight. We'll do yeah, eight dp. Uh, oh, that's not gonna work. Um, is this set to bottom to bottom of? Yeah, it is. So we'll do. 
I don't think this will work. Oh, I think I know why. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And even though we have a lot of space in there, it's not going to do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the padding bottom. We could add it onto each individual text view here. You know, we could add it to, to the to the like and to the comment and to the share. We could add it to that. But I'm trying to think. So we could add. Oh, we need. Oh yeah, let's do it here inside of the constraint layout. So padding bottom. We'll do 16 dp. And uh, let's do 8 dp actually. 8 dp. I'm gonna run it one last time and let's see what it looks like. There we go. So now it looks okay. Now that text right there is is it's not gray, it's black. So let's find the main text here. And uh, by the way, I'm using the text view for all of this. You can do it in the design mode. You can select stuff and then open up and close the attributes and like handle it all there. I kind of prefer uh, the text mode. That's why I've been doing it all in XML. But you're free to just like select the like button and add some. You can add padding to it. I think we can search for stuff. So padding. You can add padding to it. You can do all kinds of stuff here. I kind of prefer the text mode. Each each element has its own attributes. Like if I want to add, um, like uh, just just uh, as an example, say this text view right there. So look at this. All of the text view is right there. That's everything that it needs. You'll notice that there is no text color here. So I'll go to the design mode and I'll select that. And let's search for, or let's just search for text color. So where is text color? We'll just do text color, and there it is. So let's go ahead and change that. So I'm going to click on text color, but it's important to know, select that and then do text color, and we'll do number 000, enter. And that should make it black. So if I go down to text view, you'll notice, hey, there's a new attribute called text view, text color here. And its number is 000, which is black. And you can play around with it over on the left side. You can make it red or whatever. But um, but yeah, like basically just whatever you do in here just adds one more line right here. So we just added that text color line just by doing it right there. So that's that's kind of cool to know. So I'm going to save it, run it one last time. I think this time is for real. And there we go. So now the text is black and the buttons are gray. Um, so this is looking okay. So in the next video, we'll continue working on this. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.